All right. Um, uh, well, this situation has concluded, but before I uh, brief you on it, I just wanted to thank the Michigan State Police and the other agencies involved, to include the Bay County Sheriff's Office, Federal Bureau of Investigation, uh, U.S. Marshal Service, uh, Michigan Department of Natural Resources, and the many other agencies that assisted us the past 24 hours. Um, at 9-11 a.m., uh, the subject, Leroy Kosas, was found uh, dead in a bedroom of the house by an apparent uh, gunshot wound, self-inflicted gunshot wound to the head. So at that point, uh, the Michigan State Police tactical team uh, cleared the building, found no other people in the building, and at this point we are conducting an investigation. Uh, the Michigan State Police is conducting an investigation into the officer-involved shooting and uh, the attempted homicide of the police officers by uh, uh, Mr. Coase. We don't believe there was, no. Gotcha. Uh, how long has he been deceased for? I know that might take some time, but any idea? Was this fresh? Or did this happen several hours ago? We know he stopped, he stopped posting on Facebook around 11 o'clock last night when his phone died. Any idea if that's when he might have taken his own life? That may be the case. We don't know. There will be an autopsy and uh, the time of death will be determined. Part, uh, Facebook played a role in this. Uh, people were communicating with him, the, the public. Uh, right. How did that affect you guys' operations? You know, that's a reality today and it's something that we really can't control. So. Uh, you know, I think what we do, or what we try to do is focus on the things that we can control. And uh, it, it, it is a way that we also gather intelligence because we can monitor those uh, same uh, posts. But it is a reality in this day. And time. Some may ask, you know, he is doing fine. He's resting at home. Again, it was, uh, it was a flesh wound, a grazing wound to his back, and he is doing fine. And uh, there will be more information out about that later on. Do you anticipate it. residents yeah. on North Sherman to be able to go back in their houses Yes, today? very soon. Uh, we're having the power uh, hooked up and the gas hooked up and they'll be able to go home real quick. Was power knocked out to the whole street or? Yeah, I believe to the grid. To the yeah. grid, okay. Yeah. And originally this uh, this uh, arrest warrant was for a rape case that he's a suspect in? Yes, yes. Uh, he violated some bond conditions, so a warrant was issued yesterday and uh, when officers attempted to take him into custody, he resisted, fled into his home, and then uh, uh, fired gunshots at the officers, striking him. And, the, and my officers returned fire. So that's Chief, your time in Basin, have you ever experienced anything like this in terms of the length of a standoff here in Bay City? Uh, not in Bay City, in my uh, prior job in Phoenix, Arizona, yes. And just to be clear, when did